Hi, welcome to another lunchtime devotion. The uh, Tuesday before Thanksgiving. George, did you learn a little bit about Thanksgiving at school? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do we get to do on Thanksgiving? Eat mac and cheese. <laughs> Have mac and cheese and all mm-hmm. kinds of yummy food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, Thanksgiving, we're so used to getting to see all of our friends and family and share one big meal together. And that's not going to happen this year, um, which is sad. We're accustomed to thinking about food and friends and getting together and all kinds of stuff on Thanksgiving. We're not as accustomed to... uh, Mama, may I just have some cereal? Yes, you may. We're not as accustomed to words like quarantine and isolation and sickness. But uh, there are some people that are not strangers to those, and uh, those were these people that we learn about in the Bible who had a particular sickness called leprosy. George, did you know that leprosy was a really terrible thing to have? Yeah. Yeah. It was a a sickness that made your skin hurt really, really bad and, and die, and eventually it could kill you. And if you had it, it was very easy for other people to get it if they were near you or if they touched you. So if you had leprosy, you had to live far away from all your friends and family. And you couldn't see them. And you couldn't touch them. And it was very, very sad and very, very hard to do. Well, is it very, very sad and very, very hard to do? Well, if you had to live all by yourself, away from all the people that you loved, it would be very lonely and very sad. And that, that happened with, well, that, just, that happens from time to time, right? Yeah, and, so and that it, happened at preschool. Did you learn about that at preschool? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And did you learn about the time when Jesus was traveling to Jerusalem, and uh-huh. he was going by a village, and from far away there were ten people with leprosy who called out to him. They asked him to have mercy on them. Mm-hmm. They were asking Jesus to help them, weren't they? Mm-hmm. And what did Jesus do? He healed them. He healed them. He made them all better. Mm -hmm. And when they were all better, that meant that they got to see their friends again. Mm -hmm. They got to see their family again. They could be in the same houses and eat meals together again. Wouldn't that be so good? Yeah. Would you be so excited to see your friends and family again? Mm -hmm. Would you run, run, run to go see them? Mm -hmm. But in the story, we hear that they forgot one very important thing. What? Well, when Jesus had given them a very special gift, hadn't he? He gave them their health and their lives and their friends and family back. And when somebody gives you a gift, what do you say? Thank you. That's right. And the Bible tells us that of the ten people who were sick, only one remembered to say thank you. The rest of the nine were running, running, running as fast as they could back to the village, but only one stayed to thank Jesus for what he had given them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, (laughs) to talk about illness and quarantine and isolation doesn't feel very Thanksgiving-y, but this is a really good reminder for us that even though, you know, this pandemic isn't going anywhere, short of a... a pandemic. It's like when a lot of people get sick. That's what's going on right now. It might not be going anywhere, you know, certainly not in time for Thanksgiving anyway, but Jesus isn't going anywhere either, right? He loved those people that had leprosy even before they were healed, right? And he loves you and me too. Uh Oh, Mm -hmm. and we might not be able to get together for Thanksgiving this year, which is so sad, but we know that because of what Jesus did for us on the cross, that we do get to be together with him and with all of our loved ones who know Jesus too forever in heaven. He died on the cross. And then what did he do? He rose from the dead. That's right. And that's the greatest gift that any of us could ever have, right? He ascended into heaven at at the right. And of God the Father Almighty. That's right. And one day, we'll all get to be together with Jesus and the Father. And that'll be 
the best gathering that any of us could ever hope for, right? Uh-huh. Let's pray. Can you hold your hands, please? Thank you. Thank you, Father. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you for today and every day. Thank you for today and every day. Thank you for all of the gifts that you give to us. Thank you for all the gifts that you give to us. We ask that you would that heal all those who are sick. Heal all who are sick. Who are sick. And that you would comfort those who are lonely. And that you would comfort those who are lonely. We can't wait to be with you in heaven, Jesus. We can't wait to be with you in heaven, Jesus. We love you. We love you. Amen. Amen. Have a great rest of your week and a blessed Thanksgiving, and we hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>